What's up guys, welcome back to Among the Fence, a safe place where we could talk about music in our favorite genres without feeling ashamed or embarrassed. And today we're going to be talking about the album Earth and Sky by the band Of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men is a metalcore, new metal, hard rock, the kind of band from Costa Mesa, California. It started in about 2009, but their first album came out in 2010. It's kind of weird because I've always wanted to like Of Mice and Men. I tried really, really hard. I listened to Restoring Forces a couple times, their 2014 release, and it was good, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I wanted to go into it listening to like metal or metalcore band, and I got more new metal than anything else, so I was not really that into it. Honestly, most of their albums and their music kind of flies under the radar for me, and I feel like most people too. Like, I completely forgot that they came out with the album in 2019 until somebody suggested that I do a review on their 2019 album, Earth and Sky. And I was pretty excited to start this album because, like I said, I really, really want to like this band. I don't know why. I just, I feel like I should like their music. But every time I listen to them, it just... I don't know, I always end up just changing it to a different band or song or I just can't, it it just, nothing grabs me when I listen to them. And I will say that I do honestly think that this is a good album. It's very big, it has tons of energy, it never lets up, even on the slower songs, it just keeps bringing it in every single song. You can tell that the band just really, really put in a good amount of effort and played the hell out of their instruments in this album. And if anything stood out to me the most, it would be Aaron Pauly's vocals. His distorted vocals are absolutely phenomenal on this album. And his clean vocals are good too. I don't really care too much for clean singing, not just in his case, but honestly, most metal songs, I don't, I just, it isn't really my thing, but I I can't deny the fact that they're still really, really good. And I'd be willing to say that this is probably his best performance that I've ever heard from him. Even when he was in the band Attack Attack, this album is honestly his masterpiece. To the point where he just outshines everyone else in the band on this album. And the production on this album, the whole mix on it is spectacular. The songs flow very well together. It's got a good start. It's got an amazing finish. And it's all structured really well. It's really good songwriting throughout the entire album. My favorite song on this album is easily the closing song, How to Survive. And it kind of has this weird intro that I just wasn't really all that sure about. I thought it was going to be more of a slow song, but then it comes in barreling with all these vocals and this intense guitar riffs. And it was honestly just kind of caught me off guard and I loved almost every second of it. The choruses in the song are kind of meh because it has a lot of clean singing in it which like I said I don't really care for but I'm not going to deny that they still aren't really well written and still very good but the verses just slap so hard the riffs and the vocals and the intensity it's it's so great and the lyrics the lyrics are perfect for this song too it's it's honestly I feel like this album would be better if they made every song based off of this song (laughs) I also enjoy Taste of Regret mostly because of the vocals. The vocals, again, just (laughs) almost steal the show on every one of these songs. And I also enjoyed Earth and Sky, the title track. Again, because the vocals, the lyrics are kind of cheesy, but they're a little bit more creative than the rest of the lyrics on the album, which I feel like it kind of evened it out. But both those songs were still really enjoyable, and they were a close runner-up. It was really hard to decide, but yeah. How to Survive is definitely my favorite song on the album. Even though the sound on this album is very good, every single one of these songs honestly isn't, there really isn't a bad song on this album. But at the same time, they all feel very just generic and very familiar. It's almost like listening to 2006 As I Lay Dying and Kill Switch Engage. It's just has a very generic sound and it doesn't have anything very unique to it. Even in my favorite song, How to Survive, it has a very just generic metalcore, even kind of new metal sound that you've just heard a lot of times before. It's just the riffs are very generic. They're very good at the same time, but still they just, there isn't anything unique about it. The first two songs on the album, Grave Dancer and As We Suffocate, again, it's just 
very rinse and repeat in terms of what I feel like metalcore and new metal has been doing for like the past 15 years. Like if you want to sound like As I Lay Dying and Kill Switch Engage, you want to have that kind of sound because honestly a lot of bands sound like them and it's not to say it's a bad thing, but if you want to have that sound, that's all fine and dandy, but at the same time, you need to do something that stands out and I feel like Of Mice and Men just don't do that, especially on this album. It's kind of like they're just stuck in this rut of riff writing and drum work where it all just kind of sounds the same. Like if you listen to this album, all the songs kind of just blend in together and they all sound really well together and at the same time they all kind of sound the same. And this is kind of weird because normally I pick a favorite song and a least favorite song and for some reason I just can't pick a least favorite song probably because like I said they all generally just sound the same in terms of the guitar sounds, the riff writing, the drum work, all of it. It's all really just similar. Which kind of leads to the whole album feeling very repetitive. And like I said, like only three songs really stuck out to me. And even then, they just kind of barely stuck out. And also even then, it was only because of the vocals. I really just enjoyed the vocals on the songs, and that was about it. Sure, there was a couple cool guitar solos in a couple of them, but otherwise, I mean, the music was just repetitive. And I feel like Of Mice and Men kind of try to stay more away from the mainstream side of things. But this album feels like they're kind of pushing it more into there. And they're more into just strictly metal now. But then they have some slower songs that just come off as hard rock radio play. Which, it doesn't sound bad, but it just didn't seem like it fit in this album. And it just didn't really appeal to me whatsoever. With all that said, I feel like this album deserves a rating of a 5.7 out of 10 because even though I couldn't really connect with any of these songs, it was still a really good sounding album. The music is good sounding, even though it's very generic, it's still, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad album. I can listen to this album all the way through without skipping anything, I can enjoy it, but then I won't go back to it later. <laughs> Which kind of makes me sad because I just really want to like this band for some reason. I don't know why. But this is their sixth studio album and I'm still just not really feeling it. So maybe, I don't know, maybe A Mice and Men just isn't for me. I, I have no idea. But I want to know what you guys think. If you've heard this album before, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what you would rate it and why. And if you haven't listened to it, go ahead and give it a listen. Honestly, if you're not even into metal and new metal, this is a pretty easy album to digest. And if you have an album that you would like to see me review, maybe it's your favorite album from the past or one of your favorite artists is coming out with a new album, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what it is and I'll make it happen for you. And don't forget, if you want to see more of my videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified when I do upload. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. I was